It seems to me that you're working a lot and you started a few years ago. How satisfied are you by, by the way things are going for you? Oh, I can't complain. And if I do, you should just kick me in the head, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, things are good, you know. I've been, I've been having a really good time. I like this movie-making stuff. It's a lot of good, good, good fun. Good all-American Christian fun. <laughs> Tell me uh, about Mary a little. Uh, there are all these guys obsessed about her. You know, how, what's her reaction to this obsession? I think she deals very well with uh, all these four or five crazy guys obsessed with her. Um, well, she, because she doesn't know what's going on around her, because she's just completely oblivious to sort of what's happening. I find Mary to be sort of, she's a smart girl. She's, you know, she's, she's got a lot going for her. She's a doctor. She's, you know, very um, on top of that. But I, I don't think that she's a, a very a perceptive person. <laughs> so she kind of <laughs> misses everything that's going on around her when it comes to, you know, behavior as it is because I think that comes from her um, having you know her brother being sort of you know b being mentally disabled and his behavior being erratic and the people that she spent her time around sort of having that uh, um, that ability that she just sort of is accepting of people. And what makes her so sensitive to handicapped people? Well because she's grown up with um, her brother you know um, being such a huge part of her life and um, the biggest part of her life really um, that she, um, you know, I think that she just loves him so much and knows how much warmth and what, what, how much fulfilling that can be to have somebody like that in her life, in your life that, you know, she just is thankful for it. So Cameron and uh, comedy, is it hard to accomplish, accomplish good comedy? And I, I would like to know if the jokes are more important than the characters sometimes. Um, well, see, that's a funny, that's the line that's hard, you know, that's the type of that you walk. Um, at, with with the Fairleys, w what it is, I think, is that you know they've done King and Pin and Dumb and Dumber, which were a l slightly the characters weren't as important as the joke. And I knew it, coming into this film, I um, they wanted to have characters that were important to the people, to the audience, um, and they wanted a love story that you know they could people could get really involved with, as well as have the comedy. So. Um, you know that was sort of the goal of this film, and and so you know that was that was sort of my responsibility as and Ben's and Matt's and everybody is to sort of keep these characters real pe as real people that people cared about, and also deliver the the, the jokes, the funnies. So, and uh, working with Matt, working with Matt was great. Yeah, it was nice. It was uh, we got to spend time together and uh, do something that was in in a surprising way. It was actually not so much pressure. For us, because we were we were doing something that was so far away from who we were that there wasn't the pressure of actually being ourselves on camera for people. So um, talking about being, but I, I read that you're very much like Mary. Is that true? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, that's a rumor that's going around. But you know, you can't really believe everything you read. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think that I don't know. I mean, she certainly looks a whole, whole lot like me, which is I'm starting to wonder. You know, but um, there's a uh, there's, I'd have to say, I don't know. I, I think we share uh, some of the same qualities. Yeah, she's great. I would like to know, uh, considering that uh, I know you went to Europe with Matt mm -hmm. and then all the paparazzis were following you around, uh, how hard is it to, to preserve your privacy, mm. being on the public eye? And, and if you can tell us, if you ha what do you have to do to be able to? Well, it's a difficult thing. I mean, that's something that you just sort of find your footing with as you go along. I mean, there's no... Who knows how to handle it, really? I mean, it's not something that you ever really, s you don't go through life going through training for it, you know? It's just one day it's not there and the next day it is. And um, so you just sort of find your way as you go along and try to figure out what feels comfortable to you and, and make it work that way in your life. 